we saw a lot of studies that confirm sort of what we already know about um, immunotherapy for ALL. There are increasing numbers of bispecifics. There are increasing numbers of um, ADCs. And obviously, there are many discussions about CAR T-cell products for ALL. Um, and there was one, um, you know, there was um, some um, also in, there was a large, in the late breaking abstracts, there was a study looking at children who had relapsed with ALL uh, that uh, were getting second um, treatments with CARs, showing that that was relatively ineffective at inducing long-term remission so that, you know, when people fail uh, CAR therapy um, and have to be retreated, there is, um, you know, still we don't exactly understand the biology sufficiently to make a huge dent in these patients. And we're still not completely sure why these patients are not responding since um, many of them were still antigen positive but didn't respond to therapy. Um, so it's a little bit uh, unclear uh, for those patients. Now, there there were um, some nice talks about um, uh, targeting T cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and the the problem there is that the targets you go after are also expressed on normal T cells, and so you have to get rid of those targets somehow. So there's different ways to do it. Uh, one group uh, just from China just manufactures uh, CAR T until all this, the target population are are gone. So they wait for all the cells that are um, that are negative for the target, which in this case is CD7, to get killed by fratricide. And there's another group um, at um, at St. Jude and uh, Baylor who are focusing on a very small population of CD7 negative cells that circulate in the peripheral blood. Um, and then uh, there are others that are looking at um, uh, not auto, but allo CAR T's um, because that makes some sense because it's very hard to separate normal effector cells, which are T cells from malignant T cell ALL cells. And so the use of off the shelf reagents has it's, it's, and you know, there's, there's reasons to believe that may be a better approach, but still it's been a hard, it's been hard to do this. So there was um, one um, summary by the group at Baylor who has made some significant progress targeting both CD5, which for some reason doesn't require um, deleting that target or doesn't result in significant fratricide and CD7, which does require either deleting the target or resulting in increasing fratricide um, as a way of targeting T cell ALL. And uh, there were some interesting um, um, data presented suggesting, you know, the duration of um, activation before you make a CAR is very important uh, for the CAR T cell function. Um, that both CD5 and CD7 are reasonable targets for T cell ALL and for T cell non Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, and so there's some hope, at least based on some proof of principle studies done by just a few groups in the world that there is hope in the future that we could potentially more efficiently target T cell uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphomas and T cell ALLs using CAR T cell therapy as well.